Midpoint and distance between two points on a graph. The midpoint is the coordinates between two points at the middle. And we get it by finding the average of the x average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. Now, we can also get it from a graph. So if I have to find the distance or the length between these points and the midpoint between these points, the easiest way is to graph them first. Then if you're comfortable with the working, Great, we'll show the working. So the point negative 3, 2, and 5, 3. And we're after the distance between those two points and the midpoint between those two points. And I left my ruler in the other room, so I'm going to use my phone as a ruler, which is very bad practice. But there, it worked. So to get the midpoint, the idea is that we would average the x-coordinates and it'll work out somewhere about here. And average the y-coordinates, 2 and 3, and will it be about 2.5. So you can see between two points where the middle is going to be and I want the average of the x's to get that and the average of the y's to get the y coordinate. But if you're really stuck you could just very carefully graph them and very carefully read where the middle point would be. So I reckon it will be at one, two and a half. One, 2.5. Let's check that. Midpoint. The average of the x's gives me the x coordinate. So when I average the x's, I add them together. 5 plus negative 3 is 5 minus 3, which is 2. But I've got to average them which means I divide by 2, so 5 minus 3 is 2, I've got to divide by 2 to average, I get 1. I got the correct coordinate for the x's. To get the y coordinate, I need to average the y's. So I've got y is 2 and y is 3. 2 plus 3, and I've got to divide it by 2. That's 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. I got the correct y-coordinate, so the midpoint is, oops, in brackets, the x, 1, and the y, 2.5. So if you're stuck thinking about the midpoint, graph them first, work out where it would be and give me the coordinates, and if we can show the working, that's even better. But to get the midpoint, we can graph it. Now the distance, this is the hypotenuse of a triangle. To find the distance or the length, we use Pythagoras. We graph the points. And we can work out the distance or the length of the two shorter sides because they're on the grid squares. This is 1, this is 5, and another 3, this is 8.
And then we use Pythagoras to find the distance between those two points, which is the hypotenuse. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So for distance, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. We're finding the hypotenuse all the way along. We're not including the midpoint, just from this point to that point. Our two short sides are 1 and 8. C squared equals 1 squared plus 8 squared. For Pythagoras, get our answer for C squared. Sorry about the noise outside. 1 squared plus 8 squared, 65. Find the square root to get back to C. Square root of 65. When we get a funny answer, push the arrows. 8.06. And we just say units, because we're just on a grid, we don't have centimetres or anything like that. Now, easiest way is to get those short sides from graphing the points. But, if you're feeling very clever and you want to go just from the points, then the distance between the two x values here we just subtract 5 minus negative 3 was 5 plus 3 which was 8 the distance between the two y values we just subtract 3 minus 2 was 1 and we could work out that this was 1 and this was 8 without graphing them but if you're watching the basics video at this time chances are you're better off graphing the points, getting the distances from the graph, and just using Pythagoras without worrying too much about x's and y's.